Hi, I'm Divya Gandhi. I'm director, owner and dietitian at Diet and Cure. Today I'll talk to you about a very common metabolic disorder which females are facing that is PCOS. PCOS is a condition in which body produces higher than normal levels of male hormones. This can lead to infertility, hirsutism that is facial hair and excessive hair fall. The question comes that what are the reasons of PCOS? PCOS can be genetic if anyone, any female of your family has PCOS so you know kids can have PCOD as well. The second is lifestyle disorder. Lifestyle, by lifestyle I mean not following the proper diet and exercise regime. One should be exercising regularly and as far as diet is concerned, the diet should be really high in fiber like having vegetables, broccoli, cauliflower or having high fiber food like uh, sprouts, kale, spinach. One can also include whole grains in the diet like bran, oats, muesli. Apart from it, protein also plays a very important role in dealing with PCOS like having lean protein like fish, chicken breast. There are certain foods which we call as anti-inflammatory food like tomatoes, spinach, broccoli. So all these things help in dealing PCOS. How they help? They actually controls your blood sugar levels which in turn controls your insulin levels and then it reduces the symptoms of PCOS. There are certain things which one should be completely avoiding in PCOS that is dairy products. However, it is not difficult to avoid these dairy products. The question is, people say, how can I leave milk or curd or paneer? The reason being, the dairy products have insulin growth factor. What it does, it actually delays the ovulation, which worsens up the PCOS. This does not mean that you need to deprive yourself from milk. There are certain alternatives which are available in market like instead of having normal cows or buffalo milk, you can always opt for coconut milk or uh, almond milk or rice milk. Apart from this, there are certain things which we need to do on the regular basis like involving certain herbs in our diet like cinnamon, dalcini. What it does, it actually boosts up your metabolism which helps in reducing weight and thus controlling uh, PCOS. Apart from it, people these days are using, using vegetable oil, canola oil and olive oil for cooking. So it's always good to have coconut oil because coconut oil stabilizes your insulin levels. Then, zira water. Zira water, it has this anti-inflammatory property. So it reduces your water retention, it boosts up your metabolism and it works on your ovulation. Last but not the least is Ashok Kichal. If anybody might have heard, there is this plant which is very uh, normally seen in the parks and uh, people's balcony. So you just need to take handful uh, leaves of Ashok uh, Patta and boil them for like 20 minutes, throw away the seeds and bring that water and they will actually help in uh, improving the ovulation in female body. So it's always good to stay fit and healthy and keep eating good. Thank you.